Hey guys, if you're having any issues with the new DJI Phantom 3, such as horizon level issues where you're looking on the camera and the horizon seems to be tilted to the left or right a little bit, or any other issues such as uh, physical leveling issues with the aircraft itself, or any jello effects with your video, then this video is for you. The simplest and most effective solution to these problems is to recalibrate the IMU sensors inside of the DJI aircraft. I'm not going to go into uh, the reasons why this works or how the IMU sensors uh, internal uh, components work on the aircraft. I'm going to focus this video on how to uh, do the process step one to completion. So check this out. The first step in this very easy process is to make sure you have a flat level surface. Now. Uh, I have a level here, simple level, and uh, just to show you guys that this surface is not sufficient the way it sits, and I'll show you why. As you can see, uh, just sitting on this uh, typical table, you'll see that the XY axis of the table is not perfectly level. Um, the side needs to be raised up, and in order for this solution to work properly, it does have to be perfectly level and I suggest you use a tool like this to do that. Likewise, you turn it on its y-axis and you'll see that that's not level either. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use the simple piece of particle board place it on the table uh, that way the plywood itself is easier to adjust rather than the entire table itself. So I've got my particle board. Now I'm going to adjust, uh, make minor adjustments on the uh, X, Y axis. And I'm, what I'm going to use is, a, is, is this book here. The reason a book is good to use is because you can easily adjust the thickness of what you need. So I've already established, and let's check the level first we can see where it's at there and on the other axis so I've already done this and I've already established that I need to go to page 158 in order for this plywood to be perfectly level okay we got it laying on page 158 Let's give it a test. Bam. All right. So now, keep this fucking cover. I'm going to use this Dell owner's manual. And I've already established that in order for this axis to be level is I just need to have it on the last, on the last page. Sitting on that, we got the plywood sitting on the books. Let's check it one last time for accuracy. Perfect. And good enough. All right. All right, so I got the uh, DJI Phantom sitting on top of the plywood and the center it should be perfectly level. And I'm going to keep the battery out until we're 100% ready to go and execute this. The process will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, during the process, you want to be sure to keep the DJI Phantom uh, where it's at. Don't touch it. Just let it do its thing until the process is complete. Okay, before inserting the battery or uh, turning on the aircraft, what you want to do is you want to go to your controller and iPad and turn your controller on. Make sure everything's plugged in. Navigate to your DJI Pilot app. Click on the camera. All right, nothing's going to register because uh, the aircraft is not turned on yet. But what you want to do is you want to go to your menu, open that up, the top level menu. Uh, you're going to click on sensors. Okay, and when you scroll down, you're going to be presented with two options at the very bottom. Uh, they're grayed out right now. You got check IMU and you got IMU calibration. 
the IMU calibration is the button you want. So what's going to happen is you're going to turn turn on the aircraft. Once it, the aircraft establishes a link with the controller and the iPad, uh, you're going to get, get the option to press those buttons. When it when you get when that option comes up, you just click IMU calibration and it's going to do its thing. So let's go ahead and insert the battery. <clears throat> Very important. Uh, before you turn the aircraft on, you want to be sure that you are ready to go, ready to uh, hit that button. Apparently, uh, there's a internal heater inside of the aircraft that starts heating everything up. Uh, and for some reason, I just heard it through the grapevine, but you want the internals to be as cool as possible or as chill as possible. I'm more concerned about making sure that this surface is level perfectly, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. All right. It's already connected to the iPad. It's in Addy mode. Want to rid of this aircraft status? Aircraft state. Go back to our mode. IMU calibration. Gives you a little warning here. If it'll focus. Please make sure the aircraft has been turned off for five minutes before calibrating, which has keep the aircraft stationary and level during calibration of the rise. You have to recalibrate. Please allow five to ten minutes. Okay. All right, so it's going to do its thing. Thousand dollar phone and it won't even focus. There it goes. All right. I'm not even going to touch the table. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, the status light IMU is warming up. I'm just going to sit here until it completes uh, its process. All right, uh, this indicator has changed to green. Uh, we're in Opti mode. <clears throat> um, it didn't really give any indication that the process was complete or not. I'm going to check mode. I'm going to check the menu here, go back in. IMU calibration is in progress. Okay, cool. All right, after the IMU calibration is 100% and the calibration in the red says finished, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the uh, second menu from the bottom uh, for the gimbal. And you're going to click on Gimbal Auto Calibration and click that. You want to get a window, you click OK. It's going to make a noise. It's going to indicate on the iPad that it's in progress. The gimbal itself is going to move around here. After it does that, it's going to say gimbal calibration complete. You're finished. Process, process is done. Uh, you're ready to get back in the air and uh, that should fix your horizon level issues and any other issues that you might have. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel guys.